I mean, all this is, in one sense, all this has been very, very rapid, isn't it? Because you know, this time last year, yeah. it wasn't on the radar. No, if, if you could today speak to your yourself a year ago, two years ago, your pre-cancer self, what sort of things would you want to convey to your your pre-cancer self? What, what sort of how has this how has this changed you in the way that you you view things? Well, I think I walk up behind myself and give myself a good kick up the backside for being being so spiritually complacent. Um, I, I think when, you, when you've been a Christian for a long time, you can get into a sort of state where you're kind of enjoying your Christian life a bit too much because it becomes a bit too cushy. You know, you might be doing a, a limited amount of service, and, and basically you go from day to day. You, you read your Bible, you have a lot of fellowship. You know, you've learnt an awful lot of Christian truth, although nothing like as much as you could have learnt. Um, and and you, you, you're quite pleased that you have a good understanding of Christian doctrine and that you are sound and that you're not some you know awful Armenian or charismatic, if that means anything to anyone. And, 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 and all those kind of things, and you can kind of feel a bit proud, and you can feel pleased that you're attending a good Orthodox church. And uh, okay, there are some things there that you think are a bit dodgy, but well, you know, it's not too bad, and, and all, all that kind of thing goes through your head. And and, and you basically. Jesus just becomes a heavenly insurance policy for when you die, and, and that's a very, very long time in the future. And, and you think about how you're living your life, and what I realised very, very strongly was that you know, when Jesus tells you to lay not up for yourselves treasure on earth, but to lay up treasure in heaven, I, I wasn't doing that at all. All my treasure was down here on earth. It was with my family, my friends, my, you know, my social life, my hobbies, all those kind of things, my church attendance, my just enjoyment of the Christian life. And, and all those things are passing. And, and, and the really worrying thing is, is that you develop a sort of sense of entitlement to that kind of life. You, you develop a, a sort of a, a sense that it's going to go on like that forever, that you, you know, it's never going to change, that things are always going to be like this. So, as I said, I, I, I would just go back and give myself an almighty kick up the rear end because what you're missing out on by staying like that is a real deep personal knowledge of... of of God and you know and, and the person and work of the Lord Jesus Christ, you, you're missing out on so much if, if you have that kind of Christian life. And uh, I, I, I hope most of you here now were nothing like in the state that I was before. But I, I don't know. I kind of wonder sometimes if, as the way you see the church is functioning in, in this in this age of what Joe would call affluenza, you know, in the material age that we all live in, you know, are, are we are we complacent? Are we content with? things the way they are. are we, do we really believe that everyone around us is, you know, faced with an eternal destiny where everything about them that's made in the image of God is stripped away? And, you know, and, and a state that remains like that forever with an a, a, eternal conscious punishment for things that they know they're rightly being judged for. I think, well, how awful would that be? And, and do we really believe that? You know, people we rub shoulders with on a day-to-day -day basis, people at work, you know, people in our social lives. And uh, you know, it's, it's just this whole thing for me has just been an absolutely massive and blessed wake-up call. And the funny thing about it all is now is that you know, near, nearly a year into this, even though I wouldn't wish any of this on my worst enemy, I wouldn't have missed any of it for the world because of what you learn about just about the person and work of Jesus, really, and about, about the fact that it's just so true. The gospel is true. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He backed that up when he was on earth with the things that he did. And he backs that up in, in all our lives through the things that he continues to do and work th through us. It is the truth. No, no atheist could convince me that it wasn't.